Z5 is a portable ATR mid-infrared system for characterizing liquid samples from 1,818 wave numbers to 909 wave numbers. For those who prefer their mid-IR in microns, that's 5.5 microns to 11 microns. In this video, we'll show you how to get up and running with this easy-to-use, plug-and-play mid-IR system. Before making measurements with your MZ5, you'll want to check out the user's guide to confirm that your liquid samples are compatible with the zinc selenide crystal. For example, the MZ5 should not be used with strong oxidizers or acids and bases with a pH outside the 5 to 9.5 range. Make sure to review this information before applying any samples to the zinc selenide crystal surface. We're now ready to get started. First, install the Ocean Mirror software. Once installation is complete, start the Ocean Mirror application. Next, connect your MZ5 to the provided power supply and plug it into an outlet. Then, attach the micro end of the supplied USB cable to the MZ5 and plug the cable into the computer. Now for the fun part. Click the Connect button in the Ocean Mirror software and your MZ5 will automatically connect to the software. You'll know your MZ5 is connected when a recommended set of measurement parameters loads in the software window. Don't worry, you can adjust these measurement parameters according to your needs. The settings that load are optimized for most measurement uses. For more information on the measurement parameters, see the user's guide. Note, when you make any change to your measurement parameters, you must select the Set button to apply the change. One more thing, before you begin your measurements, make sure you're outfitted in the appropriate personal protective equipment. Safety first, always. See the user's guide for more information. Now you're finally ready to start your measurements. The crystal sample surface is protected by a black plastic cover. Rotate the cover away from the crystal and verify that your crystal surface is free of defects. If any abnormalities are found, contact Ocean Optics Support before using your MZ5. After inspection, clean the crystal to remove any contaminants. Start by blowing off any particulates using a current of warm, dry air like dry nitrogen, and then wipe the crystal with isopropanol or methanol. Make sure you're using a soft, non-abrasive, lint-free cloth to avoid scratching the crystal. As with most spectroscopy measurements, you start by measuring a background or reference spectrum. With your measurement parameters set, make your background measurement by selecting the option to take one measurement and click Start to begin the measurement. Now the software comes to life with the unprocessed background spectrum displayed in real time. When the acquisition is complete, the Ocean Mirror software switches to the Average tab, showing you the averaged background spectrum. Set the Spectrum Measure background by clicking, you guessed it, the Background button. When a background spectrum has been saved, the BG on the status bar at the bottom of the software window will change from gray to black, and a message will appear on the left side of the status bar to confirm that your background has been stored. Note that you must set a background spectrum to see the spectral data in absorbance and transmittance mode. You are now ready to collect spectra for your actual sample. Pipette enough sample to completely cover the crystal, making sure you don't spill the sample or overflow the sample well. Now you can choose how many spectra you want to acquire for your sample using the options with the take setting. You can either specify the number of spectra you want to acquire or choose continuous measurements. Keep in mind that with continuous measurements, the software continues acquiring spectra indefinitely, saving every spectrum along the way. To save your spectral data, click on the Save menu, choose Save As, enter the base file name for your spectrum, and choose the save location. The current spectrum will be saved with a time and date stamp in the file name. To auto-save your spectra, go back to the Save menu and toggle the Auto-Save button. All subsequent spectra will be saved automatically with your base file name and a new time and date stamp for each file. 
Once you've loaded your sample, set the number of spectra you want to acquire and the save parameters, click Start, and the raw data will be displayed in real time under the Raw tab. When the spectral acquisition is finished, the average raw data will be shown in the Average tab. Since you saved your background, you can see the more meaningful transmittance and absorbance spectra. Aren't they beautiful? If you want to customize your graph view, use the scroll function on your mouse to zoom in and out on the spectrum. You can also right-click and drag to move the spectrum around in your graph view. This is most useful after you've zoomed in on the spectrum. Left-click to display raw intensity, absorbance, or transmittance at a specific wave number. Other options include toggling a grid on and off using the grid button above the graph view, or changing from wave number on the x-axis to wavelength using the x-axis button. When finished with your MZ5 for the day, or when changing samples, remove excess liquid from the crystal and clean it with an isopropanol or methanol soaked non-abrasive wipe. Repeat this step as necessary until the crystal is clean and streak free. For water soluble samples, an initial clean with a water soaked wipe can be used. Finally, before storing your MZ5 for the day, make sure to rotate the protective plastic cover in place over the crystal to help prevent damage. And that's all there is to it. How easy is that? Up and running in no time at all, putting applied spectral knowledge to use to unlock the unknown. Thank you for watching our video tutorial on the MZ5. For more information on the MZ5 or any other Ocean Optics product, visit us online at oceanoptics.com.